How's it going guys and welcome to Dead Rising 3. This is the game that I have been waiting for. This is the next gen release that I have really wanted to play with exception to games like Titanfall and Destiny but in terms of release day games this is the one that I've wanted to play and I don't know it's a little bit late in the release day at this point. I, I kind of left it a little bit later than I really should have done to start playing this but I was playing Rise Son of, Son of Rome which is pretty good as well. It's actually quite a good game but I had some editing problems as you guys probably know if you saw the Rice videos. Um, there were a few issues with them but that's all sorted now so hopefully I should be bringing you high quality videos 1080p of Dead Rising 3 and I'm going to be playing a lot of this as well just because as I said I've really been looking forward to this and I love the previous games and it's going to be amazing and just because of that it would be awesome if we could get this first video in Dead Rising 3 to maybe I don't know 400 likes say possibly do you reckon that could work? You know, I'm just saying, if you could, that would be amazing, and it would really start this series off with a bang. So anyway, we're going to get straight into this, we're going to play story mode, and I'm going to try not speaking of the cutscenes. I'll try, I've never played it obviously, so I'll give it a good go, but sometimes I do have a bit of a chatter. So anyway, let's play a new game, and oh, completionist. Choosing this playstyle will help match you to players who want to explore and experience as much of the game as possible. Unlock all the achievements and master all of the content. I kind of want to do that. Yes, I am doing a, a completionist. Why the hell not? Wait. Choose this option if you want a single player experience. Other players cannot join your game session. Should I? I feel like I should go on a completionist. I don't want to play single player. It's kind of not been made like that, is it? What's that I say? It's choosing a playstyle will help others. Yeah, let's go with completionist. Let's do this. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully we don't hear other people in the game because that might be distracting. Like, I've always found that a little bit weird when that happens. You know, you'll be going through a game, playing a campaign, and suddenly one of the characters starts swearing at you. You're like, oh god, what's happening? But maybe that's just my experience. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Find a way out of this city. We're all gonna die. Shit. Wonder if anybody's in there. Well, I've got a funny feeling we're about to find out. For this. 
You're a madman. You're a bloody madman. That's why you volunteer for this sort of stuff. Gotta be food around here somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, there's some food. A snack. How do I eat it? Can I just pick it? How do I pick it up? Okay, eat food to restore health. That's what I'm trying to... I'll be to pick up nearby items. It's, it's so close to the edges. And press that for more information. Okay. So, health and food. Health is displayed at the top left corner of the screen. When all blocks are depleted, you will die. Eat food to replenish health. Press X to consume food items. Food is scattered around the world. It comes in all shapes and sizes. So, basically, pretty standard dead rising um, rules. Combo foods can be treated. Oh, there's combo foods now. Interesting. Once you unlock the food comma category, food categories are indicated by the food icon, which in turn determines final combinations. A dooby dooby doo. And that's... Nope, I don't need to look at that. Okay, we got some food. So, consume food using X. Hey, we got some food. Nice. Is there more on the floor? What's that? What is that? That looks like a... That looks like a kind of filthy bagel. Should I eat it? Okay. Yeah, let's eat some floor bagel. I'll take the wrench if you don't mind. Can I run in this game? I know you couldn't in the previous one, but I kind of want to know if I can. Okay, X for light attack. Hey, open the goddamn door. Alright. Oh, damn it, I just threw my wrench. Alright, I'll take I'll take the shovel then. I'll I'll take this. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright, what's that? Is that more food? I've got to get some more food around here somewhere. Should I pick my wrench back up? I feel like maybe I should. Okay. Let's let's take the wrench again. Because we do have multiple weapons. I really don't like how this is all, like, in the corner of the screen, do you know what I mean? Like, you've got fine supplies down that corner, you've got... It's way too in the corner. So what, smash down the door? Aha! Oh, why for heavy attack? Okay. Good God, that was a heavy attack. Jesus, man! He's pretty strong. <laughs> um... Can I... Okay, that's dodge roll. I don't seem to have a run. I do just seem to be sidling everywhere. Find a way out. Oh god. If we don't get out, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna eat our flesh. That is a shitload of zombies. Okay, how do we... Oh, I can control the torch, I think, sort of. Is this a way out? There's not a way out. What about over here? Oh, oh, there's a thing. There's a vent. Surely we can get in the vent, right? No, okay, so I can't get in the vent. Alright, so maybe... Maybe if I just sort of bust my way through the door, because they can't get through, can they? They're zombies. I'm not allowed to. Oh, oh, there's a door. There's a door. Oh, I see. Okay. That's a little bit worrying. Somebody made this. There's just zombies everywhere. Um, okay, what about... I suppose down here, then. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Holy mother of God! Jesus, what is wrong with you? Kill it. Kill it dead. Where's our weapon? Where's our weapon? Is he getting back up? Bloody thing's getting back up. Alright, you wanna go? Come on then. Come on! Get down on the ground. Stupid zombie. Silly, silly zombie. And what's in here? Is there any food that I can take? Oh, there's uh, the machete. I can take a machete. Machetes are always good. And a chef's knife. Ah, oh, it seems that like I can only carry three things at once. So it is definitely sticking with the Dead Rising style. Oh, oh, big zombie, big... Holy mother of God, that one was on my foot. Come on. Come on, then. Do this, you undead sons of bitches. I give no shit about how dead you are. Absolutely none. I'm going in here because I can. Okay, maybe, maybe not. There's dead things in here. Um, it's time to leave. 
Jump. 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 All right, we've killed eight zombies. That's not bad. <laughs> That's something. And can I? Oh, I can climb. Ah, oh, that makes things easier. Oh, tactical handgun. Nice. I'll take him myself a tactical handgun. Okay, let's not fall to all shit. They're going to try and get up here, aren't they? And we got it in the head. Okay, I think we're, we're supposed to be just running, aren't we? Run, 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 run. Or at least go as quick as you would like to go there, Nick. Which isn't very quick, I'm not going to deny. Okay, here we go. All right, take down that guy. Is that in the head? Uh, that was in the head. Fantastic. Oh, Cinderbox. No, bad zombie. How did you not die? I shot you in the top of the head. Oh my god, she's impervious to bullets. That one's not. <laughs> I wonder. Actually, there's a theory I want to test. In Dead Rising 2, there was a, a kind of like a weird sexist thing going on. Like, if you kick a woman, it would always take one hit to take down a woman, but it would always take down two hits to take down a man. It was kind of weird. What the hell? And I want to know what it's the same. Shit. There's no way out. They bombed it shut. Shit. Ooh. You blew it up, you sons of bitches. Gotta get back to the diner. To be honest, I'm not even sure why Nick is here. Like, we've, we've not really had any explanation as to why he's in this tunnel. It just seems to have happened. Oh dear. Oh shit. Run! What? What just happened? I did not pause that. Okay, maybe I did. <laughs> Still getting used to the controls. You know, the new controller. Hey, warning, please have ID ready. I'm human, surely that's ID enough. Living. And all that. I bleed. Cut me and I bleed. That's gotta hurt. Wait, what? Oh dear. Okay, and that was just the introduction. <laughs> just keep walking. Don't turn your head. Just keep listening. interesting opening. Reminds me, I don't know why, it reminds me a little bit of James Bond. I don't know whether anyone else is thinking that. Maybe it's the music. I think it may be the music. Not the zombies. Although that would be interesting. I think there was a living one in the middle. I feel like maybe we should go and save that dude. Okay, so get to the diner. Where's the diner? Diner is over there. Um, so we still can't run, but we can jump. But holy crap, there's an explosion. I think the best way would probably be to jump over the cars. I think we've... Oh, orange juice! Oh, wow, awesome! 
I remember orange juice from the previous games. It was always the best drink to have. Just because it was always so useful. Okay, we want to cycle through. Do we want... We want to keep the wrench, I think. Uh, we don't need a flashlight anymore. So we'll get rid of that and we'll take the gun instead. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Is there a guy in the middle? Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy there. He's still alive. Holy mother of God, get off. Shit. Shit. It's okay. These, these ones seem to lunge a little bit further than in the previous game. Oh, my God. He's dead. Dan is dead. Dan is officially gone for. Kick him. Kick him while we're going down. Do you reckon, did all those zombies come out of the plane? That would kind of make sense, but you know, there's, there's still quite a lot of them. And I'm on fire. Get on top of the car again. Crap. Okay, his parkour skills are actually quite good. He can jump onto the car a lot better than Chuck Green could in the second game. And let's not even talk about Frank. Jesus, get off of me! Okay, okay, fine. You want to play? You want to play? I've got a goddamn shovel. Come on! I'm not going to avoid you. Not anymore. Can I hit them while they're down? Heavy attack. Oh, wait, no. Why is the heavy attack, isn't it? Heavy attack. Okay, awesome. We killed a couple of zombies. Jesus. Oh, my God. Shit's going down. Get the hell out of the fuel solage. Okay, jump. And we got it. It's okay. It's all good. Right. Um... Oh my god. I think I'm going to have to jump across the top of the zombies' heads. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. Oh look, there's a bagel. I can eat a bagel while I'm on top of the car. You know what? Yeah, why not? I'm going to stop for a break. I think I deserve a break from time to time. Hut, I did it. Hut, over again. Holy crap. Okay, okay. I reckon we can jump to this one. Good. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's parkouring the zombies. Oh Jesus. Go over the top. Go over the top. We did it. We did it. <laughs> this, this, is, this is very scary. Okay, I made it. Oh, that was far too close. Okay, I'm going to get up somewhere where the zombies can't get me. Which would probably... I think this would be a good idea. Kill zombies to earn PP. I, I don't want to earn PP. Not yet, anyway. Because we're going to die. Um, do you reckon they can get on top? I don't think he can get on top of it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end that one there. So thank you for joining me in this first ever part of Dead Rising 3. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to put another one up tonight because I want to keep playing this. And chances are when we come back, I am going to be surrounded by zombies, which could be interesting. So, yeah. Also, as I said at the beginning, if we could get this up to 400 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Because, you know, Xbox One, Dead Rising 3, it's just a winning combination. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.